Welcome to episode five of the Webcomic Beacon Presents first issue. I'm Marcus. I'm Melissa. And I'm Fess. We've been doing this for, well, actually for about an hour now, <laughs> recording the previous shows. Yeah, don't, don't mess them up. Uh, yeah, yeah, so this is, this is it. This is, uh, we're, we're in our first batch. We're doing this, these, these first issues are going to be ten at a time um, in, in batches as we go through all of the new 52 from DC Comics. Pray for us. This is a trial by fire for us. We've never done anything like this before. I have. If this, really? <laughs> if this goes well, we're not going to be doing this many at a time. We're going to be we're going to chill out and hopefully do more and come back. I'm hoping it'll succeed, but we're definitely going to go through all the 52. So you're going to want to check out firstissue.webcomicbeacon.com for more. <sighs> all right. Or maybe don't pray. Hi. Here it is. We got issue number one of. Superman Action Comics. Yes. Um, Where's the... Do we, do we have a guitar? I don't have a whole lot of sound effects. Fuck. Looking at I this I have all color. the old Hanna-Barbera sound effects. Ooh. Yes. Well, maybe. Boing. We'll do that next time. Okay. Viewers. Well, that, that's him. what that's what editing's for. Fuck, we don't have time. They can't remind him before we're done with the rest of these. <gasps> we're fucked. Anyway. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so cutting back in. So, we got to look at this cover. It wasn't originally called Superman Action Comics. It was, it was just a, called Action, action Comics. Yeah, but you want to make sure people know it's there's Superman in Action Comics. And in tiny little letters, even though we can see him in the front. Especially if they're new readers, you know, they don't necessarily know that Superman came from Action Comics, but, you know, everybody knows. Then Superman again, you might be confused as Action Comics? Why not just call it Superman? Yeah. It might but be, there, there is also Superman. Which is the reason why yeah. I think they... And you can certainly yeah. see Superman mm -hmm. here looking... It looks like he almost has, like, a smaller cape, but I don't know, but... He, he does kind of play... I think the art looks really cool. I think Superman does pop a bit more, but it seems a, a little too... A little too much... Too busy. A little too much going on here. I think it could pop a bit more. Yeah. It's it's a little yeah. too glossy. It's I, a little too busy, but... I'll probably but, just get rid of the bullets. That's all. But yeah, they're, they're The Superman. bullets that are going in wrong directions? Well, from all over the... That's the reason. because they're going from all over yeah. the place. They don't seem to be a shooter <laughs> unless it's like a magic... Gun. I mean, there's a guy down there, but his bullet is yeah, like there's a guy coming from over, over here. Yeah, this one's going up the wrong way, and the angle's not quite right there. It's, it's um, like okay, somebody's ahead of him shooting back at his knee. It, it, it's kind of like okay, don't don't put those in. I mean, you can still have him firing on him, like keep the background. Yeah, but, but it's, it's yeah, still, the bullets it's, hitting him don't quite. It's still interesting hit. to look at. Yeah. Um, and you're like, Superman's running from the police. What is and it's like? Oh, yeah. Is he supposed to be Batman? I thought everyone likes Superman. Mm -hmm. All right, because because it's like here's the thing: if you're going to be looking at number ones, um, you got to think. Okay, this is a number one. It's, it's supposed to be a start. It's supposed to be. You're not supposed to know really anything before this, except for like Superman. You're gonna pretty much everyone in America. Most people in America are probably going to know at least something about Superman. Well, there was actually a study done of the most recognized logos in the world, and Superman and Batman are two of the most recognized logos in even, like, sub-Saharan Africa. Everybody knows who Superman is. <laughs> yeah. So... So that much is fine. That's why yeah. I like this. This nice front and center, you know, Superman. And, and oh, in, in contrast, they have the Comic-Con um, ad right on the second page. And in this yeah, one, in contrast a... to the Justice League cover, Superman front and center, mm -hmm. yeah. not Batman. But Just Batman is, thing. but Batman is taking up a lot of the. <laughs> He's taking up most of the space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, I got a cape. Not, not that it's I want to continue critiquing a Comic Con ad, but they do look like they're having a lot more fun in this ad <laughs> they than they really were do. on the Justice League cover. Yeah, this is the more. This is what I. I, I guess my, my point of bringing that up is I wish this had been the Justice League cover. <laughs> Just personally. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, enough of advertising. Uh, for people, <laughs> want to be enough for people that are not paying to advertise on our show, which you can if you go to webcastbeacon.com slash advertise. Yeah, I'm right. Anyway, so we're going to look into this story, and I remember the first time I'm looking at this, and like, Superman, you're a bit different. Are you evil, Superman? What's going on here? And he's like, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, idea. It's like, holy crap. And especially in this one shot, he has like, Red Bean is like, I'm going to fucking kill you. And that's like, holy shit, is this my, ba my Superman? What? What's going on? Has Superman gone all Batman? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Has, has he gone all Batman? However, while I was like going through this, it's like when when we start seeing more of yeah, exactly. He seems like a Batman. It's like, arr, arr, but it's like, oh, psych, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. And then yeah. 
What scares the shit out of people besides I know. crazy ass dude with red so, eyes gonna throw you with one hand? What's your what's your initial? Ah, uh, my initial thing was this reminds me so much of what I had been told from my elders is the original Superman from like 1939. Okay, where mm-hmm. where he was very much like a hero for the people. Like like a lot of the uh, scenes in this book are inspired by scenes from mm. the 1939 version. Where, for example, like um, th- they make a mention of him throwing a wife beater out of the of a window, and that apparently <laughs> occurred. I, I've never read Action Comics number one, the, the original one. I'm sorry to say, don't kill me, please. Well, you <laughs> have to get it illegally at this point. Well, that's true. Without killing yourself, I mean, no. you, you could go into horrible debt, but that's something. I'm... Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. I, I understood that as kind of the basis for what they were doing with this character, and that kind of made it work for me, but I tried to divorce myself of that perception, because I want to see where they were going with it kind of for myself, and what it turned out to be was, yeah, what, what I was thinking, like, he's more of like a populist kind of guy, like, he protects the poor, he protects the, um, the people who are downtrodden, and that's what Superman was always, you know, that's what he does. You know, the whole truth, justice, and later they added the American way. Right. Mm-hmm. And what I what I liked was that he was back to that instead of doing things like, you know, living on a new version of Krypton that's circling what? the globe. Don't worry, we're not going to go into it. Okay, yeah. don't go but, into but, it. But, but like, but like he, he's, he would do things like that. Like, like basically for the last, I'd say, six years, they made sure Superman had nothing almost to do with the main DC universe because they were pushing other people. It's kind of like when pro wrestling, where if you have Hulk Hogan, but you really want people to like Stone Cold Steve Austin, you make sure Hulk Hogan isn't in the middle of everything you do. And you put Stone Cold there instead. And that's what they did with... Superman and Batman, Batman and Green Lantern. Actually, people don't like. Guys. I don't think people like Hulk Hogan right now. I, I'm talking it's about from what I'm hearing. I'm talking about in historically. Oh, he's, historically, he's he's, he's, Hulk, he's, he's yeah. one of the most recognizable people. It's kind of like right. he's oh, very recognizable. He, he, it's kind of yeah. like, like people don't like Superman right now, which they didn't for years, and you know they whatever. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the continuity because wrestling changes, whatever. But anyway, that's the idea. What about yeah. your initials? Um, the 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 coloring is kind of mushy. <laughs> that was my. It's My a first response. Kind of... to, it's like th- there's a lot of gradients there, and you know, it's just, mm, I'm I'm just iffy on it. it. It's not bad. It's it's it tells the story. Um, you know, n- nothing bad, nothing good. You know, just kind of right in the middle for me. Um, I do like the new character dynamic. Um, it it did kind of uh, surprise me a little because you know I grew up with the Boy Scout. Mm-hmm. Uh, Superman, you know, I, I grew up on the Christopher Lee. Reeves. Christopher Lee. <laughs> I cut that out. I grew up. <laughs> He's not going. You to grew out of something. I grew up with the uh, Christopher Reeve film, mm-hmm. and um, you know, it, Superman to me has always been the Boy Scout, just because it's it's a nice character dynamic to contrast with Batman. You know, you mm. have two guys who are both fighting for good. But there's one who is kind of Machiavellian and yeah. is willing to be brutal to get to the end of good. And Superman has this towering ethic. Yeah. And this is very interesting to me. I, I'm kind of curious to see if the dynamic doesn't quite work with the other characters in the mm. universe. But, you know, we haven't thrown him in with them yet. So. Yeah, and, and that's one thing that I, I actually have liked is the change. Because for me, I always thought of Superman, and these, the, the portrayals that I grew up with, were the character as being like, your dad, but bigger. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, like, as far as a very authoritarian <laughs> sort of, I maintain the status quo, that is my... Uh, purpose under my roof you follow my rules yeah it's because kind of like i like, like, like what i call truth justice in the american way is to maintain the status quo at all costs right mm-hmm. and whereas batman was like i will undermine the status quo in the pursuit of justice and that's why they would mm. fight yes and i vastly prefer a superman who takes more of a i will not i have a quote of that so you'll like batman i won't kill i am far less uh, I guess fear based in general mm-hmm. than Batman like for example he doesn't wear a mask he, he still keeps his face uncovered mm-hmm. he still wears very bright clothing he doesn't wear 
Um, he, he doesn't, doesn't um, show himself as being a symbol of fear. He is simply a fearsome figure. Right. But it's 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 from a place of I will protect these people who can't protect themselves. It's like I and am Batman's not, more like I will destroy, destroy you, you if you you know if, if, yeah. if you fuck up. Yeah, that, that's right. exactly. And 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 so to me, I like that, and I wonder. Depending on, um, and this is getting well, a little ahead of ourselves, yeah. how Stormwatch develops, because Stormwatch, um, we'll we'll get into Stormwatch. Yeah, they've got um, they've got their own character with a very similar power. Set. Next issue, next yeah. next episode. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to mention. Well, aside from at the very beginning where he seems like a Batman, and but he yeah, kind of yeah. fakes it out, but. I kind of do like the part-time superhero look he's got. He's kind of got a little yeah. short cape. He's got yeah. short sleeve shirts. He's wearing regular pants and, and yeah, dockers. Yeah, he's wearing jeans, man. Yeah, That's dude. awesome. Well, he's wearing a jean. He has a patch on one of them. So it's like he yeah. seems like he's really starting out. You get the feel that he's just kind of starting out in this. As you mm -hmm. read more on, he mm -hmm. is. Which makes me question... Where does this follow in the continuity? Is this completely separate, or is this happening in the in the past? Because he wasn't wearing this in the Justice League. Right. Yeah, I, I, so. I assume this is occurring in the past at some okay. point, and that the idea is this will be the origin of Superman, and the Superman comic in name right. will be the current adventures of Superman. Now, okay. why Superman transforms into Harry Potter is a complete... <laughs> word, no, word. he's not. He's, he's fucking Peter Parker. Because Ooh, he's being, yeah, I'm yeah, watching this and this, and like this is yeah. like you're all like. Well, he looks like Harry Potter and acts like Peter Parker. Also, okay, yeah. he's, he's yeah. Harry. You're right, H Harry Parker. Harry, Harry Parker. Parker. There we go. Yeah. We got Harry Parker, Superman here, <laughs> and he's not even a part of the Daily Planet. So it's like, oh, okay, what's no, going on here? Yeah. So, you know, with looking at all this, it's got it's got some action going on. I think this does a very good job of establishing. An introduction to Superman, and in the end, it's like, oh, well, okay, yeah, what's, what's going to happen shit. here? Yeah, and, um, and then you've got Luther. Yeah, you got yeah, Luther kind of making an Luther. appearance in here. And Luther is interesting in this comic. Yeah. I Luther's always interesting, but, it, you know, in so, particular here, I like how he's written. If this is in the past, this is probably actually set in the 80s or 90s, because it seems like the rest of the 52 is kind of, like, based in now. Yeah, well... Uh, well, it's kind of rebooted a... to be based in now. Yeah. So... Didn't someone have a... a I filmed that one. This I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to. Uh, yeah, there were there were cell phones in. The, there were cell phones in the nineties. Yeah, but well, the, but it wasn't. In the 80s. They weren't. They were big. smartphones. They, they were smartphones. <laughs> so <laughs> the one I recall having, I recall having a camera on. Well, it may not be. Maybe they're being more ambiguous with this. Uh, so anyway, it so matter. it's it's um, five. Years, it's it's ambiguous. Long ago. This happens prior to that. That's all okay. you really need to know about. Yeah, the, we the just exact don't know. Time period Pro okay. Yeah, we all just don't right, know what the right. gap is. We just all know right. it's prior. Yeah. So, but with this one, well, I would. I'm going to give this a succeed. This this really kind of gets you to know the character. There's enough going on, and you're like, ooh, okay, I, I got to know what's going to happen for the next issue. And to me, this comic succeeds. I'll say the same thing. I do believe it succeeds. It's a really nice comic. Action Comics has action in it. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, that is Superman Action Comics number one. That is so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna never stop doing it. <laughs>